All right, well, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is August 9th, 2021. It's around 4.30 right now. I literally just got done, made it on a uh, charter boat, tying on a charter boat based out of Golden Nugget. Tried to make a video for you guys over there, but forgot the GoPro. It wasn't really a stellar day anyway. Back bay fishing this time of year is actually kind of tough, unfortunately, but that's not gonna stop me today. Today, we're here at Banded Inlet, and I uh, took my bike up here. It was a pretty far drive. And then I had to go on my bike as well. But we're all set up right here. Got the gold basket, got the rod, backpack, water bottle, shoes, literally everything we need. This thing is a game changer right here. Literally one of the best purchases I've ever made. I can't wait to use it in the fall. But it's low tide here in the inlet. Figured I'd come check it out. It's a gorgeous day. The wind's at my back. So yeah, I figured I might as well get to fishing. Hopefully gonna get some fluke today. That's the goal, keeper fluke. I tried to catch some keeper fluke last time last video but I ended up just getting in a crazy bluefish blitz so got the entire lint to myself out here desolate beach access is really limited so without further ado guys let's just get fishing I'm gonna throw in a bucktail with some gold a little teaser rig and uh yeah start making some casting these rips over here eventually I'll work my way all the way up there back towards the beach surf side but start in the bay right now and we'll see what happens so stay tuned hoping for that 18 incher Three of them at 18, that's what we can keep here in Jersey. Hoping for that limit. But I only got a couple hours to fish. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. See you on the GoPro. Let's freaking slay. First cast, guys, fish on. Oh, it popped off, must've been a short. Probably gonna be a lot of shorts out here today. Keeper's definitely gonna be the uh, underdog fish, but shorts. Right there. There we are, fish on. Fish on, little guy. micro Good. perfect release surprise it's all of my gold tails after all these bites i'm probably uh two for six right now on the fluke bite again a ton of bites but they're all really small fish and playing with them off the beach is a lot different than catching them vertically both pops out a lot more of the time There, guys, feels pretty good actually. Could just be the current, still feels pretty heavy. Oh, it's a fluke and some grass, <laughs> not quite a keeper, right there, and a bunch of seaweed. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Another maybe I don't know 15 inch right there. Felt like a giant with all the seaweed he had with him, but we'll send it back. See you, bud. All right, there we go. I just thought that was a monster keeper, but that's the uh, third fish out here so far. So let's get back to fishing. See if we can pull up that keeper. Here we go guys, short number four right there. This guy absolutely 
slammed the friggin' thing right in the wash. They're all around the same size, still looking for that bigger one, so we'll send it back. We're at four shorts right now, had about eight bites, so continue the good fishing. Well, guys, just landed the fourth short. I'm not sure if you saw that on the GoPro. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure you saw that on the GoPro. Showed it to my phone over there, but the bite right now is just on fire. Got a lot of short fluke in the wash. Nothing too big. Um, nothing even close to keeper size yet, but the amount of shorts is crazy. Literally every cast I'm getting bit. God, look at the size of that flounder, guys. That may be one of the smallest flounder I've ever freaking caught. Well, guys, there we go. There's a flounder that's literally no bigger than my hand. The smallest one I've ever caught. I don't know how both eyes are on the same side. Literally half an inch thick. The smallest flounder I've ever caught. We're obviously gonna send this one back. But then I'm gonna start walking up the beach a little bit. Storm's coming this way. I catch a lot of seaweed almost every cast, so. Walk up the beach, hopefully some better luck over there. go guys probably gonna be the last catch of the day right there pregnant blue claw crab on the bucktail <laughs> crazy last catch literally got her hooked right in the mouth so that'll be a lot of fun getting out trying to get my fingers pinched off out here here we go we got the hook out she's still holding on for dear life though so we'll shake her off let her crawl her way back to the water guys but uh that's probably gonna be the end of the video right here the bite wasn't as amazing as i thought it was gonna be but the few hours I got out here, we literally only fished for two hours. I think I did pretty good. Caught about half a dozen shorts, one blue claw crab, and plenty of uh, plenty of missed bites, missed opportunities. So this is something I really love doing, is getting out here in the surf and fishing for fluke, just because you really never know the size of the fish you could catch. You could be catching six inches, four inches, like the one I showed you, the smallest fluke I've literally ever caught in my life. Or you could catch a 10 pounder, so you just never know. This bike was absolutely awesome today out here. Again, coming in clutch on the surf. Got my gulp back here and literally everything. So, sticking the rod back in here. Gonna ride back to the house. Hope we'll be back before seven. Have some garlic crabs for dinner. And then I got a 3 a.m. mahi trip tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be on the charter boat. So, look forward to that video. That's gonna be more of a work, work play thing. So, we'll see how that goes, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Stay stoked. Peace out.